Stole rats. All right, guys, come along with me on the start of the Apex Kit Fox build. I'm going to head down to Texas with my dad, and we're going to pick up a Kit Fox 7 Super Sport and bring it on back home to get going on this project. Our flight out of Reading was canceled, so now we're in Sacramento. What is that? our ride for the next three days so we're in Dallas Texas just finished loading up the kit fox thank you to Bob for selling it to us oh, no worries thanks for buying it super uh, friendly and very nice hospitality and we're all loaded up in the truck about to hit the road All right, day two. On the road again. We stayed at the Baymont <clears throat> Hotel last night in Wichita Falls and uh, got some sleep finally. A recap of yesterday, we got our flight out of Reading was canceled. We had to get up at 3.30 in the morning and drive to Sacramento to catch a flight to Dallas, or actually to Denver, and then out to Dallas. We ended up getting here about, or into Dallas about an hour later than we were supposed to out of Reading. So it worked out good, except my truck's now in Sacramento. So we have to change our route a little bit to stop there and pick it up on the way home. But here's our ride for the next two days. Penske truck, 16 footer, and there's plenty of space left over, so it fits an airplane. So we'll take a look in the back and see how everything's packed here. All right, so here's the truck with the uh, kit box in it. Everything's pretty sturdy. Stuff stuffed in the cockpit area, boxes, manuals, paint supplies, the whole kit. down and 
rest area. We have to pee. Crap, that's a nice rest area. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sucker. Make my chair. Well, good morning everyone. It is uh, day three of our trip, the 11th, Monday morning. We're in Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, we're going to try to push on through all the way to Redding today. got to stop in Sacramento and pick up my truck because of the delayed flight we had to drive down there. So because of that we have to change our routing, go up through the, the uh, California Valley, up through Bakersfield, which we're not excited about. It's going to be a lot less uh, fun than going up the back side of the Sierras like we'd planned. But uh, they also had a huge snowfall uh, in Tahoe, so a lot of the roads are closed or requiring chains. And with the Penske truck, uh, that's probably not a good idea. So here we are in Flagstaff. I just opened the window, take a look outside, and it snowed here. You got, looks like maybe three inches or so. Uh, so we may be getting chains either way. So it may be a, a long day. <laughs> Well, we weren't expecting this. It's morning uh, number three, Flagstaff. Day two of driving. Woke up with a couple inches of snow. Go. Probably come off with a windshield wipers. That's pretty light stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Got 14 hours to go. We're leaving Flagstaff. Uh, it's day three, second day of driving. And uh, we should make it home today, 14 hours ago. Back to driving. Deeper, I will shout. Let me know when I get closer. Open up the sky for me. When you say I'll dig much deeper, I will shout. Alright guys, I'm super excited. Just got back from Texas with a new Kit Fox Model 7 Super Sport. The fuselage is from 2016 kit and then the wings were delivered in 2018. I bought them from a guy uh, just outside of Dallas named uh, Bob Carson. Super nice guy. Absolutely a joy of an experience to uh, meet him and his family. They're super kind and helpful getting this all, all taken care of. So thanks to you Bob, I really appreciate it. Um, but here it is. Here's the uh, kit still in the Penske truck. Uh, this video will cover the trip. It was long, but it was a good adventure. My dad was super kind to uh, go along with me and share the driving. But it was three days, 30 hours of driving. Had a great time spending that time with my dad. Had some fantastic conversations and saw some country that was a pretty amazing. Um, very bumpy roads from Texas to California. But it was a great trip, very, very fun trip. Glad we did it, super excited to have this here. And all those potholes and everything along the way, nothing moved inside the truck. Um, hopefully there's not too much chafing on the powder coat where we did have it tied down or, or contacting different things. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload it, get it out, take a look at everything, start by inventorying the kit, go over the work that's been done. Looks like it's been done real well, but just to check everything out and come up with a plan. So. This is the uh, platform for the Apex. So you can 
pretty much call this build video number one. I mean, I know I've posted about pulling the engine out of the snowmobile, but this is the start of the kit right here. So um, a little bit about this one. There is some good work done already on the fuselage. Seat pans in, pedals are in, flight controls are in. Um, all the tail surfaces are about just about ready to be covered. And uh, the door frames and the windows are done. So a lot of work, a lot of progress has already been made on the fuselage. Still quite a bit to do, but uh, looking forward to getting started on it. It is just the fuselage, no firewall forward, and there's no landing gear, which is, it's really perfect for this build because the only thing I'm going to need from Kit Fox really that I can think of right now, I'm sure there'll be a lot of stuff down the road, but is I actually need a firewall, and then I will need a cowling, which they have a couple different options. I'm probably going to go ahead and go with a Rotex cowling. That way any engine mount or design, anything I design underneath that cowling to fit in there will be compatible with most of what you guys are flying out there. The majority of the Kit Fox flying have that Rotex engine. So if we make all these components work in that Rotex engine and make them so they're reproducible like the engine mount, that's really one of the things that people have been asking about a lot lately is is anyone making an engine mount? Well, everything's pretty custom at this point, so if I can get a cowling that is more common and I can make an engine mount and a jig that's reproducible, whether I do it or work with someone that's doing it, we'll try to solve that por portion of the equation. And then on to the headers, the next one, and then the intake and all that stuff. So we'll work through all that, but if we make it all fit under a Rotax cowl, then we know that most of you guys can stuff this engine in your airplane. Because once you see the performance of this thing, you're all going to want to change. <laughs> uh, and there's no landing gear. So the plan there is, you saw, saw my last video, if you haven't, click on it. It's the one uh, where I went to Reno to see Trent and then down to Lincoln to see uh, Tony at Shock Monster. And ordered up a new Shock Monster landing gear system for my current flying Kit Fox. So um, that one's going to stay on my current flying Kit Fox when I get it. It's not quite compatible with the 7. There's a little bit of difference on how they mount. And we could make it work, but I'm just going to order up another one when the time comes. Um, that way it give me a chance to fly the one I just ordered. If there's any changes we want to make, we can make it to the next one. So uh, I'll have the Shock Monster gear in the front. The tail wheel, I've got an idea on a design for a tail wheel that I'm still working out. Um, there'll be more on that later. But it helps solve a, a problem I have with the kit fox with the big tires and everything so we'll hopefully that that will work out we'll see how that comes along if not you know the t3 tail spring has been a good uh, setup for me on my current kit fox but there's some new designs coming out that will be available by the time this one's ready to fly so we'll have to wait and see what uh, what's available all right so next step is to get this thing out of the trailer and into the garage. I'm going to need some help with the fuselage, but I'm going to get everything out that I can handle myself until my wife comes home. And I might have to call up a friend and come over and help us with the fuselage. It's not very heavy, but just don't want to, want to make sure we don't drop anything.
All right, guys, so count this one as officially build video number one of the Yamaha Apex Kit Fox build. Hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along and see the progress. Uh, hit the like button if you like the video. Hit the notification button to let you know when I do post a video. And hit me up with comments, suggestions, whatever you have. I uh, love to read the comments you guys put up. I mean, the audience that watches these videos, you guys are really supportive. I really appreciate the comments. And then I have a pretty good direction that I want to go with this build, but you know when it comes to stuff like uh, you know colors or avionics, you know I have my preferences. But like for avionics, maybe there's a product out there that I don't know about that you have experience with that you really like. Let me know because it maybe it's something I want to put in this aircraft. So um, there are some great upgrades that came with this one. There's some already some some aero LED uh, lights and stuff that I'm gonna go through. I don't even know what I've got in there yet. And uh, some other options I didn't go over earlier that has the uh, bubble windows tinted. Um, it's got the leading edge cuff, the fiberglass leading edge. Um, gosh, I'll, I'll try to, you know, as I unpack it and go through the inventory and everything, I'll try to make a list of, of what options this has. Um, very excited about it. So, again, follow along with me. I appreciate you guys supporting uh, with comments and everything. And, uh, Let's get started. The uh, storms really put the uh, slowdown on the start of the project. Got it in, got all excited, and uh, power's out. So can't really get much accomplished. I was hoping to get the wings up on a rotisserie or a stand of some kind um, and the fuselage up on sawhorses. But uh, no power tools and manually have to open and close the garage door. Went down to get the supplies at least for all this and every store in town was closed. We couldn't even get anything to eat. So a uh, massive snowstorm here in Redding, that doesn't happen, hardly ever. And uh, it, it was really heavy wet snow. So there's trees down everywhere. We've got a lot of damage on the property, a lot of cleanup to do. All I wanna do is get in here and get to work but now I've got, my attention has to go to cleaning up and um, I gotta go to work tomorrow. So everything's on hold until power comes back on and get everything cleaned up from the storm. So it may be a week or two before I get any more progress out as far as videos go. So uh, be patient with me. You know, life gets in the way, but it's not gonna keep me from getting this done. So thanks for tuning in. Super excited about this uh, whole project and I hope you guys uh, are too. All right, so the tree broke down the fence, and when it hit, it also dislodged the beam. The whole beam needs to be replaced. With all the wood. It broke off the other side as well. And then the bottom fence line, well, that's an oak, what, the, what kind of tree that is, but it broke off, went through the fence there. Also up there, I lost all these branches off of this oak here. It's leaning real bad and dangerously close to falling on the shop. Nothing's fallen yet. Uh, that tree right there is falling down. And then this whole one here, the whole root ball fell, pulled out of the ground. And the one behind it up here has a bunch of broken branches. This big oak one here lost four branches. Looking down here. Looks like we got another one that came out. The root ball came out of the ground right there. Down by the uh, archery course. This branch fell out of this tree right here. Looks like some more broken ones down there. Then this is the awesome part. Where'd you go? Over the rock. 
Toe Rats. <laughs>